Hey everybody, Zachary here. I am going to show you today the Voyager North Star E in-floor manual conversion. Uh, how the ramp works, how to open and close the door. That way you can uh, enjoy using it for, uh, in the days to come. So first off, it has a manual door. Okay. So you'll see one of the main benefits of an in-floor ramp is that it's stored underneath the floor, which makes the doorway completely unobstructed. So that way, if uh, people need to get in and out who are not the wheelchair user, they can freely do so. And then when the wheelchair user needs to enter, you can easily deploy the ramp. So in order to maximize the width of the ramp to 30 inches, which is our, our standard, uh, even though that's a little wider than the, the pillars of the vehicle here, the way we got around that is we innovated a swivel handle so that it could store here, you unclasp it, and you'll notice that it swivels a little bit, okay? That's an intentional design so we could have the wide ramp that it does. Deploying the ramp is really easy. You just use your own body weight and your uh, own momentum to walk out the ramp. So after swiveling it outward, you simply walk it out. Pretty straightforward, right? So here's the ramp in its deployed state. To uh, put, the, put it back, you're just gonna swivel it back to the forward position. And there are two different ways you can do it. Uh, for uh, some people, the easiest way, way might be to use your momentum and walk it completely in. Uh, but there are cases where if you feel like you need a little bit more help halfway through, you can bend the spring and push it in. I'll show you both. So the first one, just using your momentum, make sure that it's swiveled forward. You lift it up and you walk it in. And you latch it into the clasp there, okay? The second version that I showed you, again, in either case, you're gonna swivel it forward. You're gonna lift it up. And let's say at this point here, it gets a little tougher. Well, you'll notice there's a spring at the bottom. That is so that you can easily bend it back and you can just do the rest of it, push it which is also really easy to do. So again, depends on your personal preference, but both of those options are available for you. And it was designed that way so that we could get the maximum width of this ramp and still be able to have the handle on there. So let's talk about how to close the door. So again, the door is manual. There's a front latch and a back latch. When you close the vehicle, the front latch will catch here. Sometimes in that same movement, the back latch will also catch. If not, you simply give it a soft press. It's a soft close system and it will latch into that back one as well. And then your vehicle is fully closed. 